Hello Colas and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with Jules Koundé. Barcelona are currently in talks to offload three players and it's still not enough to register the Frenchman. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about this report claiming that no amount of money will change Manchester City's stance on Bernardo Silva. So the player is so likely to stay this season at the Etihad. We are also going to be looking at that. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Give the video a like and please make sure to watch it right up to the very end. COPE journalist Helena Condes has offered an update on Barcelona's quest to register Jules Koundé. The Sevilla centre-back is yet to be registered even though he was officiated almost a month ago. Due to the club's inflated wage bill, they have been unable to register the young defender. And as we head towards the final phase of the transfer market, Barca are facing a tricky situation at hand as they look to free up enough budget to register Koundé. According to Condis, the apparent departure of Memphis Depay will not be enough to register the Frenchman. The attacker's reported sale to Juventus could bring in about 12 million euros, but La Liga maintained that the club would require 22 million euros totally to facilitate Kunde's registration. Barcelona have other options on the table, including the sale of other French players in the team. Sejino Des, Samuel Umtiti, and Pierre Emerick Aubameyang are the three players in contention to depart the Camp Nou. Barca are even in constant negotiations with other parties over the sale of these three individuals. However, there has not been much progress, which is alarming given the fact that the club only have around 10 days to sanction one more departure. Des, for one, has not, you know, spoken to any other club over a potential exit from the Camp Nou, despite the reported interest from Manchester United. Omtiti, on the other hand, is struggling to attract suitors due to his questionable injury record at Barca. Obama Young, to that end, is a lot more promising. The Gabonese remains a target for Chelsea in these late stages of the transfer window, with Thomas Tuchel keen on a potential reunion. Xavi is not too keen on the prospect of selling Obama Young, but with Kunde's registration in the line, it will be interesting to see how things transpire over the coming days. I don't know if Barca really saw this coming because, you know, it's really sad to see how difficult it is for us to register Jules Kunde. And Barca have been struggling all this time to offload some certain players, hoping that. You no know, revenue can be generated that will be enough for Jules Kunde to be registered. You know, yesterday, the game against the Sadat, he did not play. But some days prior to yesterday, you know, I was expecting, most fans were expecting that may, just maybe Barca will register Kunde, but it did not happen. So, Javi yesterday after the game even voiced his frustration that he was not really happy about the Kunde situation, the own registration, but just said Alemani is still doing a great job no matter what, but he hopes that our next match day Kunde will be available. I just hope so. So I very much doubt if Barca are struggling to even look for revenue from the sale, they just need just 22 million. 22 million would do it. But it's really shocking that up to now they can't fetch 22 million to register Jules Kunde. So, if we cannot even look for 22 million at this stage of the transfer window, then what more of even acquiring new players? Then there's no hope or dream. Because even when we acquire new players, we need to still register them. So, I just think all this talk of Barca need three more players before transfer window comes to an end, all that will not, it does not even look realistic. Kunde is still there, just needing 22 million to register him. We have not been be able to raise that sum of money. Then is it the huge amounts of money that we will have in the space of 10 days to buy up to two players? I don't think so. 
So let's see, the first thing is trying to register this guy. Hopefully he plays against Real Valladolid next Sunday. Because if he does not play, then I think you will be, you'll be a very embarrassing situation. So let's hope that Barca can sort out the future or Barca can sell some of these um, players to raise something. You know, Obama Young have been the most talked about player who whose potential sales to Chelsea could bring the desired amount that Barca will need to register Jules Conde. So let's see how things will look like in the coming days. Then moving on to the next story of discussion, why Pep Guardiola continues to insist that he will not stand in the way of any player wanting to leave. Manchester City are not willing to change their stance on the future of Barca target Bernardo Silva. The 28-year-old is one of Xavi's top targets for the remainder of the summer transfer window. A move for the Portuguese international has been in the works for a while, but things look so difficult as Barca have been unable to sell Frankie de Jong, whose departure is considered key to Silva's pursuit. Despite reports claiming that Man City might consider an offer of around 100 million euros, a fresh update from the Athletics Paul Ballos states that there is no amount of money that would change the Premier League champion stance on, at the moment with just 10 days left in this transfer window. Siva was not part of the starting 11 for Man City's first two matches of the season against West Ham United and Burnmouth, which had added further fuel to speculations. However, the midfielder was included in the lineup for City's clash against Newcastle United earlier tonight and the club are counting on the Portuguese international for the remainder of the season as they do not plan on entertaining any offer for him this late in the window. Silva joined City from AS Monaco in the summer of 2017 and has flourished under the tutelage of Guardiola at the Etihad. The former Benfica man has been critical to the success that the Manchunians have achieved during this period. And you know, as things stand, it looks like Silva will be spending another year at the Premier League club with Barcelona likely have to wait until next summer to land the 28 year old. So it looks so difficult, very unrealistic. If you ask me, you know, the prospect of or the possibility of landing Bernardo Silva this summer, I don't come now. No. Barcelona were hoping that Frankie de Jong would leave because Frankie de Jong's departure could have been the key because the revenue that Barca could have received could have been really huge, which would really facilitate their, their, their pursuit for Bernardo Silva. But that assistance looks unlikely. Frankie de Jong is looking now so settled at the Camp Nou and looks to stay beyond this season. So for the Bernardo Silva's case, I'm sorry, but looks so impossible despite all the rumors we have been hearing in the past so guys with that we have come to an end of this episode thanks a lot for watching until next time bye bye